Hey guys, Brawler Classic Simon here along with Champion in Blue. And Good we boy. are and we are playing more Resident Evil 2 remake. We're all blocking. You couldn't tell it's a remake because look at these visuals. They're just so weird. They're so bad. Look at look at that. It's all blocky and <laughs> ugly and I'm just kidding. Uh so not, last time we uh could not save um I think uh, Brandon maybe. I don't remember what his name is, but we did get helped by Marvin. We have a knife. Could you have saved him? Mm -mm. Here, no, yeah. But we have a knife, which means we can do this. Flip that switch. Woohoo! Question is, should I have multiple knives on me? Or, because I have the one knife. I don't know if I need both. Yeah, that's fair. So, I'm actually gonna go put the other knife away. So yeah, I've already beaten this game um, enough times, so I have the infinite handgun and the infinite knife. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully that's okay. It's not a complete, you know, perfect, brand new, fresh playthrough. But um, Nicholas here has not seen the game yet, and um, it'll give us an opportunity to play through it a little faster. I don't need to pick up handgun bullets. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a little easier, a little, a little quicker. Uh, yeah, I don't remember all the puzzles fully, but um, I have played the game enough, and everything will come back to me. So. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> the blocky visuals. Ooh. Yeah, he's not doing so well. Oof. Yeah, Jimmy and Bloom here is also not necessarily a horror game, aficionado. I am especially, especially not good around blood, and this is not... Yeah. This is not my ideal, ideal environment. Yeah, it's okay. I'm playing, so we shall get through it together. Don't worry. Especially squeamish. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm not like a I just don't like it. I'm gonna check that scratch mark out. Yeah. I just remember where we're going right now. Pretty sure. Hey, man, what's up? Yeah, there's some glass shattering sound effects. Oh, well, which means that means she's here. Uh huh. September twenty fifth. We're returning the station to temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make safety decisions and their top priority while well, trying to accommodate as many people as possible. Addendum: One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was restrained, quickly restrained. We believe this is simply a case of someone snapping under the intense stress. Twenty six. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors. We're able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we were, we are. It'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we'll aim and cut off from the outside world. 27. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Told people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. So, yeah, she's so going to come here, on in here. So, uh, Leon arrived three days late, I'm guessing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there she is. Hey, man. So the longer you have the cursor pointed completely straight, it like zooms in and your focus is better and it does more damage and also um, does a better job of... Um, I believe it's like that. It, it, um, FPS is yeah, this is what we're going to do. Oh, is that the ground? Yeah. She is taken care of. Normally, you do not do that at all because you do not have enough am um, or uh, knife durability to do that because of the infinite knife. We can go ahead and just take out every single zombie. <laughs> so um, here's the thing about this game. When you down a zombie, it does not stay down. Yeah, I figured. It died once. It could do it again. But if you go ahead and knife them a whole bunch of times and you down them a certain number of times, they will 100% stay down. You can tell that they will stay down when they um, start losing their, like their limbs start popping off and they no longer move whenever you hit them. Then you know you're good. So we went ahead and did that real quick. Is there anything else in this room? Yes. Probably, so I think it's just the lock on the door, yeah. I think. Unless there's some like ammo here. Oh. There's ammo there, that's fine. Uh, we also now have a map of the first floor, which is cool. 
So we know that there's the handgun bullets there. And we know kind of the layouts of some of the rooms, you know, what they're called, all that goodness. But uh, for now, we can't go anywhere else right now. So we're going to go up here. What's that mean? Oh, yeah, the Q button also is a quick turnaround. And I'm pretty sure this guy does not move. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he just did. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just the decoration. This guy, however, is a pain. So we're going to take him out. He's a, it's funny because he's a fat zombie and he's trying to get into the, uh, the, um, the vending machine. That's the joke of that one. You know, I'd imagine that they wouldn't go for the vending machine because, you know, brain like that. Yeah, I know. I keep missing him. There is like a splurgy sound effect. Yeah, because I saw something pop. Oh, it looks like it, I got his arm severed, so that's why. Yeah, this guy though. Hey, man. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh, Leon just swore. It was unnecessary, Leon. Unnecessary language. That's locked. Uh, we're gonna go right here. We're just gonna. Yeah, he's still up. He's still around. Yeah, I know. He's taken care of now. Uh, and... The game also has a lot of just random sound effects for, uh... Things just like, just like creepy atmospheric sound effects. Yeah, just like spookies. Oh, yeah. So, uh... We can get a new knife. We can also get that. So the way this is, this is a little keypad... But the issue is, here's a keypad locker's terminal missing a few keys. It's just the person responsible for this mess. Find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know you are a jerk. Who the hell, who else would screw this up this badly? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, so we cannot use the two or the three. Oh. So we can't actually open uh, either of those two. We can't get those, but we can do a 106. Which we will do. Couldn't you just press on the spaces where the keys are supposed to be? You you would think that, but uh no, unfortunately not. So, open that and roll the film. An undeveloped roll of film. We can also open. That's ammo. Oh, did you there's hear yeah, there's some uh, atmospheric music cues. But I don't, I'm pretty sure I took out the only two zombies uh, that we need to worry about right now. Weapons locker, which we need a coward key for. We don't have access to. And then in order to get this entire side, we need the two key. Yeah. So uh, that was the only thing we could get other than like there's like the handgun ammo, but we don't want to worry about that right now. But yeah, we took out these two zombies, so we don't need to worry about them. Instead, we're going to go in here. Uh, there are... Two things in here, I think. This guy right here. He does get up eventually, but we're just gonna take him out now. In fact, actually, we're gonna do this. Hey, man, what's up? Alright. Oh. Hey, man, what's up? Yeah, okay. Uh, and. Gunpowder! We're not gonna pick up the gunpowder right now. Uh, use of gunpowder: two handgun ammo, uh, two two gunpowders, one handgun ammo, or a set of handgun ammo. Shotgun chills is gun, one gunpowder, one high grade yellow gunpowder, and then two high grade is magnum. A lot of am not a lot of ammo left around the station. Makes a good use of any gunpowder you find. Oh, so there's, a, so, so there's a crafting system. There is. Here's the other one. Hey man, what's up? Now what? Leon goes. Now what? You know perfectly well. He Ooh. just shot a corpse. Yeah, so you see his head explode? Yep. That means guaranteed they will not get back up, which is good because this guy right here is a pain because this is a very important area. Here's a safe. I don't remember the combination off the top of my head, so we're not going to worry about it right now. Oh, but it I, is a safe. I'd, I'd imagine if his head explodes, he won't get back up again. Yeah. Operation report, September 8, 28th. 
<laughs> now John, down just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We aren't going to make it. Offers Phillips one suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left from maybe some museum days. I brushed her off before, but now it's not sounding like a bad, uh, all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof e there's even a tunnel uh, or that the sewers are infested, are infested with zombies, but I don't want to say you're going to wait to die either. So long shot, I'm going to try to find what I can about that tunnel, Elliot. So, yeah, Elliot was the guy we found that got cut in half. Oh. Yeah, oh. poor Elliot. Welcome, Leon. <laughs> yeah. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for this assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. <laughs> the key to success is in the initials of our first names. And put the lockers, there are two locks, one each side, make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember their fellow officers' names. We figured that much out, right? Good luck. By the way, you may take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant uh, Brano, uh, Branagh, which is um, Marvin, mm. scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. So yeah, we're gonna unlock this stuff. Yeah, so yeah. we've got. It's okay. I came late. Yeah. Uh, their names are. Uh, we, there was Elliot. There was Marvin. Yeah, I'm trying to find the panel. There it is. N Neil Carlson. So N, E, and D. So this one is Ned. Boop. There we go. There's the key. And this one, and this one, when the, when you circle around at this point, this is when he gets up because you're not able to see his thing when he's sitting there. Oh. Uh, it is G for George Scott, and then R and M. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. So it's M, R, G. Yep. Boop. Leon S. Kennedy, high capacity magazine from the Matilda. Yeah. We're not using a Matilda, yeah. <laughs> so I don't need it. Actually, yeah, we also can't go that way because we need a special key for that way. But uh, we're not using the Matilda, so I don't want to take up my inventory space. That's fair. But basically, that makes it so you can hold more space, uh, more and more bullets in your uh, your handgun. Speaking of bullets. Yeah, speaking of bullets, we also don't need them. So uh, we're going to go through here. We're going to go this way. up nerd we're just gonna do a thing wood boards also or can you board up the windows oh yeah you can we're gonna do it right now what's up nerd so now this window is 100% completely safe for the rest of the game oh yep and here's the save room Metaphys me benefits of medicinal herbs red Visually appealing, but offer nothing until by combining them uh, could be a big thing. When strengths, one's constitution, blue and red together. Uh, so green is healing, blue is resistance to poison. Oh, there's poison. Or no, treating poison, uh, and then red and blue together um, boost your constitution. I think prevents poison, and also might raise your max health, but I'm not really sure. Just like temporarily, and then red and green is a full heal. So oh. also, a, so is a first aid spray box. We actually not putting that way around. Right, we're gonna put the green herbs away though for now. We don't need them. Click. And I think now it's save room music plays. There's a little bit of save room music. It's just kind of normal. Uh, might as well just so we have it. Come what on. else is the storage box right there? Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't need the gunpowder. For right now, because we're gonna want it for shotgun stuff later, but not right now. Red herb, so, even though it's more pink, yeah, but you know, whatever. Too, it's fine. I'm gonna put it away for now. Uh, here. Oh, come on. And. Boop. Commemorative photo. It's a photo. It's a little staff, a little book. <laughs> yep. And that just gets put in our, uh, in our, uh, Files. So now our goal is to find three medallions, which oh, is that statue in the middle? exactly. So we need three medallions in order to open the statue in the middle that we saw. Uh, and one medallion is from this statue, one medallion is from this statue, and one medallion is from this statue. Uh, but right now we need to figure out how to get around the place because we're kind of cut off from the middle where Marvin is. Yeah. So uh, yeah, right now. Hey man, 
How's it going, my dude? We're not gonna walk our way up here. What's up, ma'am? Oh. What the? Neon goes, what the? As if he wasn't expecting it at this point. Boom. Exploded. Hey, what's up? More handguns, ammo. Oh, hey, man, what's up? I forgot that this guy was gonna get this uh, far. I didn't think he was gonna get to us this quickly. What's up, nerd? Yeah, he's out. He's out of the picture. And he's still trying down there. So there's still, you can still hear the banging of him trying over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is nothing in this corner. Oh, no, wait, no. There's a red herb over in this corner. Never mind. Of course. We are going to take that. Because healing is helpful. There's also room in here. And there's a thingy. It's a portable it's safe. safe. Yep, we're going to take the portable safe. We're going to mess with it in a sec. Portable safe instructions. Woo. There's nothing in there. Shaka Jones. Steel boys. And one we can't open because there's a lock on it. And also, uh, oh, zombie. I knew that was happening at some point. What was he even doing in there? He he was a bull, he he was a a nerd who got picked on. Um, we can't do anything with that right now. We can't go that way because there's steam, but we can open the portable seat. All right, we're gonna play a light game. Nope. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Nope, okay. So it's, nope, nope. That, 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 that. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> nope. Oh, goodness. Ooh, victory. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, those are randomized every single time you play the game, by the way. Oh. Spare part. That's all? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Spare key. <laughs> Keypad button for a terminal of some sort. Oh my god. Which means we can go back down to the uh, weapons locker. You know what? That's kind of helpful, actually. Yeah, we can go back down to the weapons locker. Uh, we still can't get a shotgun yet for it, but uh, we can get some of the things that are in it, like gunpowder and stuff. He's still making noises down there. Pretty sure there's no more dudes up here though, because I think that guy was the guy that was up here and he came down already. Uh, more of those. Sound effects of like stuff creaking, that thing like creaking and stuff, making sounds. Oh, there is a giant hole in the wall. Yeah, there is a big hole in the wall. There's also another one of those things that doesn't have a thing, or that we don't have the key. Co That's supposed to freak you out. It's just a little statue thing. Yeah. There's a key. You have a key. You can also go this way. <laughs> That's just evil. The whole statue thing. Yeah. Oh. What in the... Oh, hello there. Yeah, that's not good. We don't have to worry about it quite yet. But that was a thing that we will have to worry about eventually. Um, to any survivors, consider this gift anyone fortunate them to be alive. You guys have these creepy things that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns ablaze, and you should be able to slip right past them, probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I have a friend to avenge, David. So yeah, that was that thing on the window. So that was a liquor? That was a liquor. Um, I'm going to take... We're running out of inventory space is the issue. Yeah. I have a feeling that's a big issue in this game. Yeah. Actually, no, we're not, actually. I just remembered something. Uh, he made a noise. Hey, man, what's up? How did you even get up there? Nerd. He doesn't do anything. At least not right now. We're actually not running out of inventory space. Wanna know why? Wanna know why we're not running out of inventory space? 
Oh fuck, because there's a thing right here. Woo, hit pouch. Two more inventory slots. Some guy scribblings. Darn those corporate jerks. They cut me off after all I've done for them. If that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to he heck. Uh, I boarded up all those filthy pigs up in a seal pen and set some C4. All I got to do is detonate and see it and sign our suckers. There's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll even give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times have you go do you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. And this is fun. I need some music for this. So someone went a little crazy and uh, set up not, a little bit of C4 here. They did not detonate it. Nope. Want to know what's there, though? The goddess statue that we need access to. Oh, you need to find the detonator, then. Yeah, we need to find the uh, yeah we need to find the something to uh, set that off charge. Would oh. shooting it not set off the C four? No, <laughs> I don't know why, but you need like some kind of electricity to go through. So um, we could go. I'd imagine the ignition of the gunpowder from the bullet would set it off. You would think that. So here's the thing: we could go this way right now, but um, we can also go around back the direction we came and go back to the uh. The room with the um, the uh, dark room where we did the photo thing, that save room down the stairs, and put some stuff away and collect some more items. Yeah, that sounds like a smart idea. So uh, I'm going to do, do that real quick. Oh, wait, we want to go this way. Right now, running around is fine because liquor isn't around right now. But I'm going to pick this up, and I'm also going to pick this up, and we're going to go back. Um, I'm pretty sure not running is not necessary right now because the liquor isn't not in this hallway I'm pretty sure I'll recognize the hallway when the liquor shows up and we've defeated all the zombies at this point like doubly sure because I knifed them all up and all that goodness so yeah there is a sound but I'm pretty sure it's just this guy down here making noises again yeah he's just doing stuff hey man Oh, yep, he broke the glass, but he still can't get past the, bo the boards. Alrighty, so we're going to put that away. We'll put those away. We're going to put that away. Put that away. We're going to put that away for now because we don't need it right now. Um, unless, actually, we can go back and go do that right now, actually. Let's, yeah, do, let's go do that. I'm going to save real quick. Yep. Alright. Yep. Alright. So in the old games, you actually had a limited number of saves. You had to pick up items called ink ribbons, and you had to use an ink ribbon in order to save the game. What? And there were a limited number of them in the game. Yeah. That was the old games. This we're not doing that right now. I think in the um the the other mode, the the hardcore mode, I think it does that as well. Oh, I goodness. think, but we're not playing hardcore that mode. Just... So uh, should we do the two or the three? I'd say two because I'll unlock the all of them on the left side as well. Good idea. We're gonna do two. So uh, we can also do. 102. We can also do 20. Oh, I think. No, okay. Well, we should check which ones we can do. Uh, so we can do. We cannot do 203, and that's another hip pouch, which we really want. But there is a 208, and that's some steel boys. So 208. Yep. Okay. I'm going to pop this open and grab that. We really want the shotgun. Yeah, I'd imagine. But for now, we're just going to take the Steel Boys and be on our way. Because, yeah. Oh, wait, no. That's not the other way. That's the way we came from. We want to go this way. Actually, what? Pretty sure. Yeah, we can just go this way, actually. Oh, because you have a matching key. Boom. We're back here. Marvin. There you are. Come here. Take a look. This is not necessarily the direction you're in necessarily yes. intended to go. I knew she'd make it. Um, to get back here, there's a couple oh, different huh? ways. You can, you can backtrack yeah. this way, or you can actually go through the library. But we went back this way. You get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. 
Thanks, Lieutenant. I'm sorry, but his, his blank expression. I know. All right, so I am going to... Do I have anything I can drop off? Should, yeah, I've got some uh, uh, gunpowder I can drop off here real quick. And some steel boys, actually. We still want this gear because we still can utilize it. Oh, so it's not a one key per door thing. No, actually. Uh, we have two things we can do right now. Because, first, oh, here's the lion statue. Uh, what was the code for the lion statue again? Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Uh, it is lion, herb, bird. Lion, herb, bird. Boom. Get that bad boy. Put him right there. And we can go ahead and put it in there. So we're not kind of carrying it around. station has hidden medallions. A Resident Evil one. Uh, no, the, 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 um, they'll describe it um, later in an item we find. But um, basically the police department used to be a museum. And then they repurposed it into a police department. Uh, oh, are we unlocked something? Elliot was right. Yeah. Elliot yeah. was. The passage isn't open yet. Nope. Got to get the other things, and we need to go this way for that purpose. Uh, namely, uh, we're gonna go this way because because we have the key. We do have the key. The key still has more uses, but this is the other end of the library. We were up there, uh, and we're gonna be right here for now. And I remember seeing and, a zombie uh, walking around. Somewhere. There are a few of them. Leon, watch your lounge. Leon! It is unnecessary. Do you kiss your mother with that blocky blocky mount? Red book! Put that in there. Here's more sounds. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Oh, crap. Ah! Oh. Okay, that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Yeah. That's okay, though. Yeah, okay, she's done. Yeah, uh-huh, I wanted to go over here real quick. Son of a bitch. Okay, there's his head. Um, there's also another one right there. I knew I saw something. And I think that this cop gets up. Never mind, it's not that one. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Nope. Never mind, neither of them do. Uh, in which case is this guy? What's up, nerd? I'm sorry, I had to. Hmm? Eh, it's nothing. You'll hear the recording later. Okay, I, did, yeah, I, I missed it. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, also this one real quick. Oh, he's yeah. a zombie too. Yeah, he doesn't get up though. He's fine. Um, so... Here's the thing. We did this in a slightly odd order. So this is what was supposed to happen. Um, we were supposed to walk in. I just wanted to take those guys out real quick because we do not have to worry about them anymore. Like, at yeah. all. And that's really good because this part becomes a very important location later. But, uh, normally... I'll try to go this way. There's a door over there, you see that? There's a staircase here and there's a door over here. So we're gonna try to go this way. Oh crap. And then you would turn around and all the zombies would notice you and get up and attack you. Oh. So I wanted to go ahead and not have that happen. Oh. Uh, and so yeah, we can't get that door now. In order to get that door, see all these all these things are on wheels? Yep, you're gonna have to push them over. But we don't have a thing that can uh, move this out of the way. But we can at the very least, and the thing is, you can do these one at a time, but I actually figured you can actually slide them all together because Leon is beefy, beefy strong. And there's ammo back here. But we don't need it because we're cool dudes with cool samurai edge guns. 
We don't need that crap. We have a knife, though. We can get a knife. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't have anything. I think... Are there any other items that I care deeply about? Uh, pretty sure... Mostly? Mostly for now, we wanted to come in here to get the book. Yeah. And also this. Oh. And also, also this. Here's the map for the upper floors. And... Gunpowder. This door, however, right now is locked. But that's okay. So what was the thingy for the root? Fishes, scorpion, bowl. Fishes, scorpion, bowl. Those codes are the same for every gift play through, by the way. Yeah. Unlike the light code thing. So now we have another medallion and we have a red book. The red book is going to be important and helpful later. So yeah, we have finished that section off. Let me go back in here. Marvin, we have another thingy. We have another thingy. We did this instead of helping Claire. She's probably <laughs> fine. Yeah. She's probably fine. It's okay, she has a gun. Yeah, she's fine. It's okay, she has a protagonist, she's fine. Yep. So now we have two of them out of the way. And, um... I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff away real quick. That's fair. Namely, we don't need the book right now. And... Oh, this knife has already lost some durability. That's kind of interesting. Uh, actually... Can we go... Pretty sure you have to go this way in order to get to her. In which case... Which... Does this door take the key that we have? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Pretty sure it, yeah, it doesn't. In which case, crap. We actually do want the book. We actually, we actually really do not. We really do want the book right now. Because I can utilize it right now. I had asked what the book does, but it appears you're about to show me. Yeah, I am. Hence me going to grab it right now. Uh, sort. Give me that book. So, um, yeah, right now we're heading up here to the kind of top east section of the building, I guess, or it's the, yeah, the east. So this is the hallway above where we ran into, uh, Elliot. Ah, uh, okay. First of all, or, second of all, there's another safe here that we can't mess with right now. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Third of all, guide pamphlet. Welcome to Did you know the home of the pharmaceutical giant Rollo Corporation? It was a vibrant dynamic city with a longer history of its own. Well, geez, you would think. Ah, uh, yes. Pharmaceutical police station. Giant. It wasn't always a police station. In fact, it was, used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall are mine of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage. Founded and run by Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. It's known for a stained glass window which attracts various... Visitors from around the world. That's a little bit of story building information right there. And I'm pretty sure this is the last one we need the key for. Yeah. So we can discard the key, actually. Uh, so we're going to get rid of it. You could put it away in the storage, but then I'd have to carry it around with me right now. Yeah. So we're not going to do that. I also have... There's a sound. There's like a, like a sound of like some kind of engine or something. I'm going to take some boards. Um... This is a thing we cannot mess with right now. I'm gonna go in here real say, quick though. Even though I've never played this, I know the Umbrella Corporation is like a main villain. Yep. Ruby captivated a word Black Prince, Pearl the Nile, Milk Dry, uh, and the Queen of the Guillotine is under the number of tails ready to field of jewels. Redstone is simply laid sparkle among them. His origin is unknown, as Major Nobleman's jewel box and was even decorated to dedicated to a wise king. Uh, legend of the but dear reader, would you like to approach the care for the double re lies and duty shadow? Uh, Caligula. Oh no, Caligula is a not great dude. Yeah. What do we got here? Weapons locker key card. Heck yeah, man. Is, Super important and helpful. Is that for the shotgun? It is indeed for the shotgun. Recognize this thing? Yes, I do. Yeah, that was in the photo that we got. We got a statue's left arm. Oh, oh. I see yeah, that. remember the photo? Yeah, he was holding a book. He's holding the book. 
So we're going to go ahead and combine. Now we get a left arm with the book. Now I can give him the left arm with the book. So now he's got his thing. Yes, give us the precious. The precious. I, I did not expect him to actually let go. Yeah, so we have a thing now. Hello. Hello. We have a red jewel. Oh. We're going to need that red jewel later, but for now, it's just a red jewel that we have. I feel like the scepter would have made a decent, looking, a decent melee weapon if you kept it around. Yeah, but the red jewel is for something important later on. To be perfectly honest, I don't want to do that part yet. Because I actually want to go back and clear up some inventory space real quick. I know it's a, it's, it's a lot of running back and forth, clearing yeah, up inventory space. Inventory. Yeah, it's kind of what you got to do. Because uh, we're about to get some items that we're going to want space for. Um, it's weird, though, because I think about it like I actually am using up less inventory space than I normally would. Because normally I'd have to be carrying around a bunch of handgun ammo. Yeah. So, yeah, this game is kind of uh, crazy sometimes. So, do you want to go... I'm actually going to put that knife away. Do you want to go get the weapons key card? The, do you want to go get the shotgun real quick? Yeah, sure. Let's go get the shotgun real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go get the shotgun real quick. That'll be helpful. It's totally not necessary right now, um, but we can't go get it, so we might as well go get it, right? Yeah. Especially considering we don't have to worry about any uh, zombies right now. Also considering it's a shotgun. And also it's a shotgun, so like... Hello, yes please, I will take that, and... Shotgun. Yep. So now, pop some shotgun shells into that bad boy. And we are good to go with a shotgun. So the shotgun does not have uh, unlimited ammo. Yeah. So, um... We're gonna have to use that spare anyway. Yeah, the shotgun's going to get used sparingly, but we have a handgun that can deal with regular zombies perfectly fine on its own. The shotgun is going to be used for bigger baddies later on that the normal handgun is not going to cut it for. So um, we are going to keep the shotgun on me, and I'm actually going to put it there, and then I'll put my knife there, and my healing item there. There's a little bit of organization. Do I want to bring shotgun shells with me? Probably just the four for now. It's probably fine. And we'll pop a save real quick. I didn't say anything. Well, were you asking how much the shotgun holds? Oh, yeah, I was asking that. Either. It just has four. When it's green, the little green number there means it's full on ammo. So, like, for okay. example, it's not, it's white. And now it's green, which means it's full on ammo. Interesting. Yep. All right, now we have plenty of inventory space to go help out Claire. Assuming she's not a zombie food yet. Because we took our time. That's just a normal plan. That's not a green herb. We'll go help her real quick, and then um, once we uh, finish doing that, we'll call it a day. Awesome. Engine sounds. Okay. Yeah. That was no bueno. That was what now? Um. That my dude was a helicopter crash. Oh. That was the engine sound we were hearing. Yeah. Hey! Leon? Claire! There she is! And all her blocky I'll glory. Be right there. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. The majestic Claire in her natural habitat. Uh oh. Yeah, that don't went off. Oh, there's a helicopter gonna explode. Claire. Something like that. Something like that? The helicopter just came out of yeah. nowhere. I'm one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those things? Her head is clipping through the wall. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. She's, not, she's just, just like it. hovering above it. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. There, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Is she not? Hmm? Yeah, there it goes. Mm-hmm. What'd you say, Claire? Damn it. Did she tell Leon about it? Yeah, yeah, in the car ride. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, while we were talking. Dinner time. Oh, they were working up there. I think we should go. Mm-hmm. You take care of yourself. Alright. Uh, you need to go. 
now. All right. Okay. Let's get through this, both of us. Yep. Just put two bull a bullet through her eye between her eyes now and just save the hassle. I'm just kidding. Uh, surrounded by more boards. This is perfectly fine. They cannot go through there. We do not have to worry about that. More handgun bullets we don't care about. Marvin's not answering. But we have bolt cutters now. And guess where we are? Right where what's his face was remember that little spot right there yep yeah there's a bolt cutter area right there so um bolt cutters yep oh i was trying to get there real quick before he uh got through but uh because so, uh, does the Shit. entirety of the game take place in the police station or no So, uh, this one? Okay. This one? Oh! Yeah. Oh, shoot the back. Oh, he's moving still. Okay. He's downed. He's downed. Pretty sure that guy just went through there, which means he's not gonna come back through that direction. But, uh... Hey, buddy. How's it going? No. Oh, never mind. He didn't do anything. But he will. Aww. It's just not time right now. Cutters. That's insane. Clunk. Okay. Now, we do want to get through here real quick. Because... Okay, we're good. Hey, man. Oh, we don't care about that. Uh, he's not moving right now. Uh, if you can flash grenade! I'm, I'm gonna leave the flash grenade right now, because I do want to make sure I have enough inventory space. For what we need. I'm guessing if but, you could uh, loot, loot a body, it would like, rise up. Uh, I, you would think that, but uh, we were able to loot that female body, um, uh, the female cop on the top of the staircase, and uh, she got up. Leon, the American sniper. Yeah, he's just gonna sit there for a sec, and uh, I don't know if this guy gets up actually, so I'm just gonna shoot him real quick. Nah, he doesn't. Okay. So, do you like, I like how he, uh, puts his, uh, flashlight in his, uh, kind of holds it between his neck while he's, uh, reloading. It's kind of a cool effect. Okay, we're good. Um, now, check it out. Electric, Electric part. Exactly. Guess what else we got? Ground handle. Oh, for that other thing where it had the arrows on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm catching on. Yeah. Oh, there's some spooky music. But no enemies in the, in the immediate vicinity. Um, I do want to grab this right here. We're going to put it right there. Shuck of shells. Just so we have uh, them. And I don't have to grab all things. I am going to grab this flash grenade. Do I need it right now? I'm pretty sure I don't need any other items right now. I'm pretty sure that's the major thing that I was worrying about was that, that I had enough room for that, um, the, the, the fuse. Oh. I forgot about that guy. I was, uh, I, I had a feeling about him, but I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, we're I had a feeling that he was there, but I was not 100% sure that he was there. Hey, nerd. I know you're still around. Yeah, all right. What's more disturbing is that his face was still intact. I know, right? All right. Boom, fuse. Ooh, that means this opens. And we are back in here. Good news is, were I to not, you know, have completely got rid of it, gotten rid of that guy, and he was still around, like, he would have gotten up later... If you walk through here, they do not follow you. Oh. So this is still 100% a safe room. Oh. So do not worry about that. Uh, we're going to go put some stuff away. 
I don't know why you do it. It's weird, but they don't they don't follow you through here. So we're gonna put some stuff away. Thing is, we still want the bolt cutters and the round handle. Yep. For now, because this right here, we we didn't look at it, but uh, this right here, or no, we did look at it. This needs a uh, bolt cutters. Yep. So we still need the bolt cutters, and then on the second floor, we need the valve. Yep. The round handle that we have. And um, I'm trying to remember the specific reason we need to go in here. I think we need to get something in the star's office. Do you know what the star's is? No. I think it's called, I think it's Special Tactics and Rescue Squad, I think. And it's the um, the head, like the major um, elite squad of the Reckham City Police Department. That's the one that Chris Redfield, Joe Valentine, Wesker, Barry, that's what all of them, they're the they're stars unit. Uh, There's another character named Rebecca Chambers who's part of stars as well. Um, she's like the medic. Uh, yeah, so that's that's that office. Well, before Wesker's went bad, right? Hmm? <laughs> Did, didn't, Wes, didn't Wesker become a villain at some point? He didn't just become one. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, a, he was a plant. He was a mole. Oh. So, but we don't know that. Or at least Chris doesn't know that for a while, and uh, Leon doesn't know because we just showed up. <laughs> uh, Claire doesn't know. Nobody knows until uh, that's that's all happens in the first game. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end it there. That's some of the stuff we got to look forward to. I think we're gonna go do the bolt cutting thing. I'm pretty sure those are the only three doors in the game that use the bolt cutters. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the only one left. Pretty sure there's nothing on the third floor that needs bolt cutters. Because we can't get in there right now. This is a hold spot. Because that's where the uh, the thing broke off. And we need the uh, yep. crank for the staircase. Yep. And then the west storage. And we need the explosive... Uh, we need the detonator for the explosive barricade thing. To get to the goddess statue so we can open the thing in the main hall. Exactly. Um, and I'm pretty sure to get to that, we need to get into the star's office. I'm pretty sure it's in the star's office, I think. Which means we need the valve. And then... In the records room, I'm trying to remember what's in the records room that we need. Maybe I think the I think the I think the jack for the library I think might be in the um, the records room. I think, but I think it's kind of early to be getting it though. I don't remember for sure actually now that I think about it. But either way, we'll figure it out next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying this so far. I have been. It's, uh, been, been, it's been blessed so far. Yeah. Uh, and we will get you guys next time with all this more blocky Leon action. <laughs> Stay tuned.